look at this. Grey as fuck, minging, absolutely shite. Welcome home. Here's my dog's arsehole. Okay, so tonight, 13th note, it's the homecoming gig. Kinda excited, it's been a while since we've been there. It's a nice, small and intimate venue. Opened by the opening acts, Triptych, and possibly the only other band that are louder than us, the fucking despicable ex-wives. Unfortunately, we had to cancel our gig in Colwyn Bay in North Wales yesterday because Lee was really not well at all. And it was actually quite a shame, so we didn't film anything at all yesterday, eh, apart from me eating a baked potato at some point because it was just kind of... It was just sad, actually. Everyday potatoes, how is it? Six out of ten. Six out of ten. I'm sad and angry. Anyway, tonight should be good fun. It is a wee bit strange to be home, but still be on the tour, if that makes sense, because it kind of breaks the continuity, because you've got home and you're sleeping in your own bed, and so your body kind of thinks, oh, the tour's over, I don't have to keep up the momentum, I can go to sleep now, but actually we've still got this one date left. And it's a wee bit of a shame as well, because I kind of wanted to to rock up to the 13th note directly from our last gig in North Wales. These things happen, can he be helped? And I just hope Lee survives so we can do another tour at some point in the future. Tonight we are putting on the gig ourselves, it's a DIY affair. We'll see if anybody turns up though because it is a Monday night and that is not famously a very popular gig going night. But maybe for Closet Organ it will be. Getting the bus to the venue with all of the psychopaths is not quite as glamorous as getting a van with psychopaths that you know, especially not walking through the fucking Tron gate in Glasgow. Glasgow really is a dump by the way, total fucking dump at times. Never used to be as bad as this. Well maybe it did, but not recently. Take me back to Manchester. Here's the gig poster. Notice anything weird? I don't know what Dear Glasgow's about. Very odd, very odd. Oh, it must mean we're from Glasgow. Best chips in Glasgow. Look who's here. Hi. And he's had a shave. Freshly shaved, cops. Survived, he survived. Got a rock show to do. Last rock show. Last rock show. Last ever. Last ever show. <laughs> hey, you wearing a fresh white t shirt? Is that a new t shirt? It's the freshest white colour I've seen. It's, so, it's like see through, that's why I don't really like wearing it. You can see my nips, they look like I'm. Give me that pepperoni on me. Keith, wearing a snazzy new shirt. I got it for, today. For the home show. Oh, I forgot to be in it. Welcome to the gig, Jen. Have you, what have you got? What's that? I ate a cum bearing baked potato. It's baked the only, is that only or consistency Are you carrying an organ? Band. Are you carrying a Closet human organ? organ. Oh, no, okay. This is great. I'm going to eat this tonight. Are you? Yeah, I'm going to get in. This is I mean, day 12 everyday potatoes. I'm going to have to give it a 10 though. That's I know, it's going to be embarrassing you if you don't. You don't have to give it a 10. She knows where you live. She knows Wait. where you live. Oh, it smells amazing. Is it tuna mayo? Is it a of course it's tuna mayo. Okay. Jen. That's all you've eaten the whole time. Jen, this is amazing. This is genuinely amazing. Look at that skin. That's the perfect skin. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ludwig. Hello. How was your gig? Oh, sweaty. Um, You're our favourite Glasgow band. Definitely not that Slime City. Oh, there's, there's, only like, there's only like two Glasgow bands, and we're both of them. We are both of them. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> le- unless you want a laptop or a copy of hip hop. You're leaving Brian How was the gig for you? The gig was phenomenal. I love seeing ex wives play anywhere. I've followed them about from old hairdressers, uh, broadcast, yeah. deep, not just here. Yeah. Gutted that the bass players obviously now in Frankfurt, so it's difficult to get a hold of them. Yeah, it's sad, it's sad. Sad. Um, but it was good to see Closet Organ. Uh, they performed as a unit tonight. I think been in the, the van for the past, is it seven days? Uh, 11. <laughs> 11 days. It's really brought them together. Um, the endings of songs and like the kick-ins for choruses and stuff were super tight. Um, the middle? But the middles were kind of <laughs> as ropey as usual, uh, but it was good to see that like, everybody was in sync and that Hagey looked like he was paying attention. Yeah, look. Like, come on, Jen, come on. Come on. <laughs> well, Brian, thanks for coming to see the final gig of Closet Organ. The final ever? final ever gig, because we'll never play again. We'll never be asked back after our headline tour. I thought it was quite good. I thought um, the first band were interesting, I hadn't heard them before. The last band were alright. I thought the second band were fucking, fucking outstanding, by the way. Um, forget their names. Here's the traffic light. So, Stephen used to live in the Tron Gate back in the day, and he used to always tell us stories of like, oh, it was. It was rough, you know, like when there was a football match on and stuff, you'd be scared to go out the flat and there was, you know, junkies everywhere and stuff. And then one day we were walking through the Tron Gate and Stephen was like, ah, oh, I remember one of his classic tales of the Tron Gate. It's like, ah, oh, fuck, I used to, used to live about here. It's like, well, Stephen, what flat exactly did you stay in? And he went, not, not these ones, because we're it's up here somewhere. But he just sort of like, just sort of pointing and like, see that new build there with the, uh, the veranda? The veranda. <laughs> That duplex, veranda. that duplex with the veranda. That's where I used to stay. He didn't have the, he didn't have the balcony. But actually. still, brand new flat. When he was like, oh, he's still having the fucking slums, man. And then I became a lawyer and all that. Back home to our studio, we just have to unload all the van, which is gonna be more of a pain in the arse than it seems. Ah, good gig, eh? Good gig, good homecoming. So that was it. Last night was the last day of the Closet Organ Summer Tour, or at least the first leg of it. We do have a couple of dates in a few weeks, which are down south again, but this was the main kind of bulk of consecutive dates. I have to say that I'm really glad that we did this video series, even though it was a bit of a pain in the arse to edit on the road, because ultimately, you know, people are asking us things like, oh, how did the tour go, you know, what was the weirdest thing etc, and it can be really hard to recall all of the weird and wonderful shit that happens day in and day out, but you know, I think the best way to understand is to watch these videos. A lot of bands don't do stuff like this, a lot of bands want to just show you the kind of polished thing and pretend they're bigger than they are and I think that's why I wanted to do these videos because you don't really get an actual insight into what it's like to be a wee band on the road with all of the spills and thrills and kind of practical challenges so hopefully this was interesting even though it may well have pissed off a lot of my usual synthy subscribers for now i'm kind of finding it a wee bit hard to process what's gone on over the past few weeks i still don't feel like the tour is over it feels kind of strange to be back here sitting on the couch especially because i've taken a few days off work to kind of give me time to acclimatize to being back in the real world and time seems to be much bigger than it was on tour in the sense that you know when you're on the road every day you're either on your way to do something or you're waiting for something to happen there's always something that's coming up that day whereas now it's not quite the same for now if you happen to be in a major independent record label and you want to sign closet organ so that we can do more uh, tour diaries and produce an album later on in this year please do if you just want to listen to the music go to closetorgan.bandcamp.com we will be touring more in the future hopefully if we don't um, lose our deposit on the van so for now that's it that is the tour over goodbye